Hello everyone, XYLipro here, and um, I'm going to show you how to install the Ether mod, um, as you can see here. Um, first, you want to download Mod Loader and Audio Mod. Um, find it down here. Mod Loader, just go direct. Um, doesn't really make a difference. Um, then now look for the audio mods right here and just download it. Now just press the back button. Now it says it needs Player API and Shock API. So um first go to Player API. Just wait for uh wait to skip the ad. You need to skip the ad. <laughs> And now just delete, uh, delete, um, just download it from Mediafire. Okay, um, <laughs> I don't know what that was all about, so, um, <laughs> So once you've done that, uh, click on Shock API, and then it will basically just do the same. Hopefully I won't do that survey thing again, because that was annoying. Congratulations! I'm a stupid girl. <laughs> um, and now, scam. Oh, whoops. Um, now, once you've, um, downloaded all that then go back um go down here right here it is um so once you've downloaded all this download the ether mod and it brings you through the same thing Oh yeah, <laughs> new zombie moon map. Um, wow, this is twenty two point ninety two megabytes. So um, this will take some time. I have multiple tabs open. Oh, come on, give me a break. Um, guys, yeah, so I'm just gonna pause the video. So, um, I'll be back in a minute. Hello guys, I'm back. And, um, the Ether mod is finished downloading. So, first, go to where you saved it all. Um, just double click on one of them. I'm gonna go on Mod Loader. Now, um, at this top bar here, you wanna type in percent app data percent. And then it'll bring you to this. Um, Go to your dot Minecraft, and then go to your bin. Then have uh, go let right click on the Minecraft dot jar and open it with WinZip, WinRAR, or Seven Zip. Uh, it really doesn't matter. Um, so just bring this to one side and bring this to the other. So just drag everything in here. Then go to audio mode, then drag this in. Then go to player API and then drag all this in. Then go to shock, uh, shock API and then just go to the bin and then um, all the class files just drag in here. Now that we've done audio mode, mode loader, shock API and player API thingy. Um look for the ether mod, should be right here. Now all the things that are in jar um sorry about that guys. Um just drag everything in here into here.
there, there will be a folder in here called Meta INF. Just delete it. Don't be afraid. It won't. It won't do anything. Well, it will. Um, just do it. It's a safe way. And um, sorry about that. Don't know what's happening. Um, now the re the resources thing. You will see this mod folder. Now um, go back to this place. Go to your dot Minecraft. Go to your resources. And I've already un uh, installed this, so um, it might not work. So I'll just say yes, yes, yes. Copy, move my place. Move my place. Now, um, just start up Minecraft. Now just go into it. Sorry if it's taking a long time. Um, probably give me a black screen because I've basically installed it twice, which um, you shouldn't do. <laughs> um, come on. It will log in. Right here we go. And then. Um, you probably think your Minecraft is screwed, but wait a minute. Look at that. That's really good. Go to your single player, create a new world, and um, have fun. If you want to cheat the items, just go look up a mod called Too Many Items. In one of my videos, I have showed you how to install it. So, um,. I hope you guys liked my tutorial, and, um, enjoy the ether. Yeah. And after you save and quit, it does this cool effect. It's really good. And you could change, you could do quick load. And you could do the normal theme, which I don't want to do. And the toggle world, you can just, you know, Get the old menu back. No. So, um, as I said, enjoy the ether, and um, I hope you liked my tutorial. See you guys.